Here are some useful smokes for Counter-Strike 2's Dust 2. The most important smoke on Dust 2 is the one that blocks vision at double doors. Go to the corner at T-Start and aim for the tip of the building in the distance. Jump throw. In CSGO, you could only smoke this area off with the Xbox smoke. Now the new smokes fill up the space and the door will be blocked. It's also important to mention that jump throws do not need binds anymore. You just jump and throw, and if you hear the sound cue, the grenade will land exactly the same place every time. Another important smoke is the mid-to-be smoke. You can still throw this the old way, but that will leave a gap. The safer way to throw it is to line up the wall with the edge of the door and aim a little bit higher than the dark spot on the wall. This smoke lands deeper, so if the CTs jump up on either box, they will not see you crossing. Another huge change is that the crossing can be smoked off with just one smoke. In CSGO, you needed two smokes to block this area off. Now you just have to stand in the corner next to the barrel and aim just a bit lower than the shadow of the lamp. Run a few steps and jump throw. This smoke will fill the gap and will let you cross safely. It is always helpful if you smoke off the doors at B. Stand in the corner and aim high up until the terrorist icon covers the dark spot on the wall while it is touching the pillar. After that, you just have to throw it. This is not the perfect smoke, to be honest, as enemies can jump up the barrels next to it and use it as cover. But for the time being, it will do. When attacking B site from middle, you might want to smoke off the window. For this, just stand in front of the right side of the door on catwalk. Turn around and aim for the dark spot on the wall, then jump throw. One-way smokes did not disappear completely from CS2. You can drop a smoke on top of the crates on CT. You will be able to see your enemies as they come out to middle you will have an advantage until you fire. That will give off your position as your shots will clear the smoke. Another option is to play around the edge of the smoke. This might hide you a bit and you can get a few cheeky kills, but it is way less effective than the one ways in CSGO. On B site, you can block off the back of site with a smoke. Go to the corner and aim for the bricks that are showing between the vines. Jump and throw. The defenders at backside will need to change position as they will have no chance scoring kills from behind a smoke. Jump on top of the barrel and get yourself into the corner there. Aim for the little box on the wall and jump throw. This Molotov will force enemies out of position even more so than in CSGO, as Molotovs in CS2 have a much bigger spread. Lastly, you can smoke off the platform at B one more way. Stand on this line and aim at the crossing of the two wooden planks. After that, you need to pull your crosshair straight up until you hit the other plank. Throw the smoke which will block visibility for the most of the platform. What you need to be aware is that there is a chance CTs can peek on the right side of the smoke above the box. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.